Hey, good, every, uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the uh, 2018 Ambassador Program kickoff webinar. We are so excited that you've cho chosen to be a part of it this evening and that uh, you're going to spend the next few minutes with uh, this lovely panel that we've assembled. Uh, it is exciting. Uh, I think, you know, for us in the office, it's, it's always exciting for conference season, but to have something like uh, the Ambassador Program be able to offer it to you people and have you just go with it. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a great um, response that we see, such a great blessing to so many people. And uh, yeah, we're really, really super psyched uh, to be able to sh uh, answer your questions and just make ourselves available to serve you throughout this entire process. So uh, before we go any further, you know, I know uh, so much of what we do is so reliant on God's grace. So why don't we start with a prayer and just ask the Lord to, uh, to bless our time together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, through your Holy Spirit, we've been brought to life in Christ. May your Holy Spirit work in our lives to sanctify us and unite us with you. May the Holy Spirit work in our lives so that we can witness your love and joy to others and bring other people, those that we love, those that we, we worship with, those in our community, into a deeper relationship with Christ through the Holy Spirit. Jesus, you are the source of all grace. Your mercy never comes to an end, and we are grateful that you choose people like us, to do the amazing work of building your kingdom. Bless everyone who's on this webinar tonight. Bless everyone out there who has it in their heart that they want to be an ambassador. Just equip, empower, and strengthen them, and give them a vision for the mission that you're calling them to, to go on. And Lord, bless this time on this webinar. Let it be for your glory, and let it be for the edification of everyone who's cho chosen to join us tonight. And we ask this all in your most precious name, Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All righty. Well, um, my name is John uh, Bolliv. I work for the Christian Army Office here at Franciscan University. I'm the Director of Marketing and Engagement. And uh, I'm just really excited to be a part of this webinar. I'm also going to be the coach for all of the ambassadors who are bringing people to the Power and Purpose Conference in June of 2018. Yes, it's next. It's your turn. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's my first time doing this. Um, my name is Colleen Christ. I'm from Bedford, Virginia. Um, and I am the prayer ministry leader for the Holy Spirit Prayer Ministry in our church. Um, and we brought a group of nine people the first year that we attended the Power and Purpose Conference. And they um, were all, most all of them were people who had never been before. Um, I had been before, so had my sister. So we were planning to go together, and um, and then these other people joined us, and we had a phenomenal weekend, and um, have come back every year for the last four years with more and more people each time. Um, I'm also the mother of eight children, um, and uh, my husband is a woodworker, and I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I homeschool as well. Thank you. And my name is Jordan Watwood. Um, I have been a part of the Studentville Conferences team for a little more than three years. Uh, and right now I am focusing on a role of being an ambassador coach for the St. John Bosco Conference and the Priest Deacon Seminarians Retreat. Hi guys, my name is Tim Wood. Uh, I've been working for the Studentville Conferences for uh, just over three years as well now. Um, I do marketing for them, do a little bit of website and video work as well, um, and my role is here as an ambassador coach for the Applied Biblical Studies Conference and the Defending the Faith Conference. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Colleen. Thanks, Jordan. We're also hoping that within the next few minutes we'll be joined by uh, Marjean Rivera, who is uh, Colleen's partner in ministry, and uh, you know, a big reason why so many people have been blessed in uh, the Bedford, Virginia area. Um, so, like I said, we started this ambassador program a couple years ago, and with every year that's gone by, we've learned things, we've listened to people who've uh, helped out, we've heard what works, what doesn't work, and we are excited once again to come into 2018 with some uh, improvements to the program that we think will make it a, a better experience for everyone involved. Uh, we are getting a little bit more timely in producing the resources and getting them to use so that you can build your groups 
and we are just really blessed to be able to have uh, you know kind of the experience under the belt to be able to guide you to what we think will be uh, a very uh, blessed um, you know result. And so uh, you know just in 2017, we had over uh, we had close to 30 ambassadors. Uh, at all five of our conferences. And as a result, those 30 people brought hundreds of people, hundreds of people to our conferences who otherwise would not have had an encounter with the love of Christ. You know, we create an environment where, you know, the faith is, is really proclaimed boldly, where there's moments for encounter throughout every conference. But, you know, we're, we're one office in Ohio, and to have a network of people who are willing to sacrifice their time and use their resources to reach out to their fellow parishioners, those that they worship with, those that they live in community with, and ask them to come along on a, a, a conference weekend. It's such a blessing. And we would love to see this year have 100, 100 ambassadors, you know, serving all five of our conferences. We'd love to see these 100 ambassadors bring over 2,000 people to our conferences. And we could throw out numbers all day long, but in the end, it's really not about numbers at all. It really is about the impact that these conferences have on the lives of the people who come. It's about the impact that being an ambassador, being an ambassador has had on the, pe on the lives of the people who have chosen to serve in that capacity. And to, uh, and to help us maybe understand how awesome being an ambassador can be, I'm going to have Colleen share with us kind of her story and the uh, what it's meant to her and the people that she served in the, in the ambassador program. Okay. Um, so let's see, where do we begin? Um, the first year that we attended, um, the people who had never come before were so profoundly impacted. All of us, all nine of us, even though I had been before, I was too. Um, and just witnessing that kind of powerful transformation that took place over just a short weekend. I mean, it's really two and a half days, but it's um, power packed. And, and so when I saw the power that it had, I, oh, well, you just couldn't contain any of our excitement. I mean, that's just the truth of it. We came back from that Power and Purpose Week, and that was 2014. And you couldn't shut us up. We couldn't stop talking. We just couldn't stop sharing and talking and it was like people were just overwhelmed by our experience and wanted to know and be a part of what we had experienced. So um, that's kind of when Margene and I threw out the idea as a joke. We were just like, well, let's see if we could take a bus. Let's see if we could fill a bus. Let's do it. So it was like our mission that whole year was to see if we could fill a bus. And um, we were just talking and sharing and telling our story, um, standing up in front of the church, giving ministry minutes, um, just anybody and everybody that would listen. And we did fill the bus, and that was the beautiful thing. So then we realized, okay, wow, you know, we, we just, the year before we had nine, and then when we filled the bus that next year, it was 63. So it was a seven-fold increase, and it was just from our sharing our story. and. Um, you know, I think that's the simplicity of it all, is that it doesn't have to be complicated. When you share from your heart and you're honest, people recognize that and they're drawn to it and they're drawn to joy, the joy that comes, it just comes from everything you do, everything you say. People, people need joy today. There's just such a lack of joy. And when they see it in you, they want to know how you got it and where you got it. And you just tell them. So it, that was really all we did. It wasn't any kind of complicated program or any kind of like technical plan. We just kind of shared our story and people were drawn to it. So, um, in the last four years, we've brought close to 200 people with us, which is, to me, amazing. Just because we're in such a small town. I mean, Bedford, Virginia is teeny tiny little speck in the middle of America. And, you know, it's like, how did we ever get that many people to agree to ride a bus with us all the way up to Steubenville? But, um, you know, it's like, I think, seeing each year, each year is a blessing. 
I never get tired of it. Every year is a blessing. I, I've seen where it's kind of like this little pattern. It seems like on Friday, everybody's nervous. The people have never been before. They're kind of quiet. They ride the bus. They're a little reserved. Um, they go into the field house that Friday night, and they kind of got their arms crossed, you know, and they're looking around. And they're seeing everybody standing and clapping and praising with their hands in the air, and they're thinking, why did I ever pay money to do this? <laughs> And I just pray for them. I just pray because I'm like, you just wait. You just wait. Be patient. Um, on Saturday, they get to listen to the speakers. And the speakers are people who know what they're talking about. So they're learning. And they recognize that not everybody at this conference is crazy. By Saturday evening, you have the experience, the encounter with Jesus, that adoration. That is the climax of the weekend. It's so powerful. And people just pour their hearts out, and they just cry and, and have that one-on-one -on -one time with the Lord. And then I love it by Sunday. I love seeing the people who were so quiet and reserved and nervous on Friday are suddenly over there like this with the rest of us, clapping and dancing and singing and enjoying. And then the bus ride home, you can't shut anybody up. Everybody wants to get on the microphone. Everybody wants to share what happened to them over the weekend. And the blessings, it's like the blessings that come. It's, a, it's healings. It's conversions. It's encounters with Christ. It's the most beautiful, beautiful stories. And I wish, honestly, that we had written them down or had an account somewhere of the stories we've heard over the years. Because I'm like, you know, Lord, you can do amazing things in just a couple of days. So... I don't know, that's, I mean, that's why we do it every year. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit of work. It's a little bit of work, and it, it requires commitment. But it's nothing compared to the blessings that come from it. So worth it. Yeah. Marjean, how yes. are you doing tonight? Oh, Marjean! Yay! Marjean! Marjean! <laughs> Everybody, it is my pleasure to be able to introduce Mara Jean, and, and uh, just only because she's an awesome person and so full of the joy of the Lord, and uh, <laughs> done so many great things to bring so many people close to Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. Mara Jean, well, if you would mind sharing, what has it meant to you to uh, to have been a part of the Ambassador Program? You know, how how is how has God blessed you? And how has God, how have you seen God bless other people who come? I don't think we have that much time. <laughs> <laughs> um, gosh. First of all, it will bring you to a different state of prayer. It will bring you to... I, 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 oh, gosh. Well, it has done amazing, amazing work. It really has. Um, Colleen told you the basics of it. There was a lot more craziness involved. Um, <laughs> ambassadors, get on it early, okay? Call the hotel, reserve a block of rooms of like 10, okay? You may need more, depending on how big your church is. Well, go ahead, because you know what? God's going to fill each and every one of those rooms, okay? okay. Then the next step is to get a bus. Call every bus company in the area. And when they give you the prices, don't gasp for air. Really. Because they're going to say about $3,000. And you're going to go, oh, my God, how can I do this? Um, just feel Colleen's little hand touch you and say, we'll just pray. We'll just pray. She did that to me for two years. Trust me. Um, it helps if you have a, a great partner like I do. Um, but I have seen so many changes. Um, as Colleen told you earlier, it started out as a Steubenville 9. Steubenville 9 turned into 62. Then the next year it turned into 57, 
because there was a ballet conference or contest or something, I don't know. Um, and then it went back up, it shot up to 72. So the Lord's at work, especially today, the Lord is at work. And you just really, really, oh, guys, you have to trust him. You have to let go and you just have to trust him because he knows what he's doing, okay? Um, the seven that we originally took. One has now gone into becoming a brother at in Texas, okay? My husband, who you had told me this three years ago, I would have told you you were crazy. My husband is in the deaconate program right now. And it stands and flows down from the graces that happened at Steubenville. It, it's it's not the college. It's the people that you're with. It's the people that are allowed to join in that group. It's the electricity. It's the, oh, it's the Holy Spirit just flaming up big time. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Tim. Who's <laughs> up? It's off. Um, but, you know, you have, to, you have to realize that getting there... Is the first challenge that you have to do. You can reserve the bus, you can reserve the hotel, but the thing is, you have to let people see you get excited. You have to, I mean, just climb on the roof if you have to, because we just about did, I'm telling you. Um, the, the expression that people came back with, the feeling in their heart that they came in with, the feeling of love. Our prayer ministry has doubled. It's almost tripled. And like Colleen said, we live in a little town of maybe what, Colleen? 6,000? 6,000. It, it, it's amazing. But you know what? God, woo, God is working. He is flaming the, flaming the fumes around here because it is popping. Oh. I got from our little prayer ministry, after we hit first couple of times of going to Steubenville, we started, you know, the nightly or the weekly prayer ministry from a wonderful, wonderful man um, who just happens to be calling his father. Um, he got us going with a charismatic prayer service, okay? And then he started talking, and then this one started talking. The girl... The girl got a message. One of my girls got a message, and she picked up a rock out at the seminar, and the rock was square, okay? It, it, it had a little ending on it, just like this. Sorry, never done this before. Um, and what that told me was she was one of the cornerstones of our group. And I had told her that six months before. You can't give up on me. I won't let you because you are one of the cornerstones of this group. And Steubenville, she found a rock that verified it. That rock now sets up on her, up on her little mantle somewhere. But God will drop pieces. He will drop breadcrumbs as you go, but you have to trust him. You have to open up your heart and say, well, you're not, are you sure, Lord? Because I've done that several times too, guys. Trust me. Um, but he always, he always takes care of it. He always takes care of it. I'm fighting with something. Well, I'm not fighting it. It's, it's going to happen. But there's something going on in my life. And... The thing that all of my prayer partners told me was God wants you to let go and let him take care of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a challenge for me. But that's okay. That's okay. Because you know what? Through the seminars that we have attended lately, ah, did Colleen tell you about the revival that we had because of Steubenville? Colleen, did you tell him? No. Nope. No. I told him. She comes into prayer meeting one night. You guys have to hear this because it's totally crazy. Um, she comes into prayer ministry one night and she says, 
I had a vision. So oh, okay, okay. Tell us about it. Um, the number five hundred keeps coming into mind, and all of a sudden my red lights went off because I know Colleen, and they're like, "Oh, okay, five hundred is a good number." Big white tent comes into. Now, when's the last time you guys ever heard of a Catholic church having an old time revival? <laughs> well, we pulled it off. 375 people showed up at that revival. Lives were changed. Conversions were made. The last trip that we took to Steubenville out of the 74, three have joined the Catholic Church because they were so touched and they realized that they were standing in the wrong area. Okay? I'm not I'm not saying anything about any other churches, but you know what? There is one God. And when you study and when you read, the Holy Spirit will take your hand and will lead you. The biggest piece of advice I can give you is to approach us with an open heart. Pray, 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 pray. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you because that that is what's going to fire you up. And if the Holy Spirit doesn't fire you up, I'm not sure what will. Because there's so many things that God is showing us right now. So, Steubenville is the closest that I have found that can feed me and excite me and get me fired up like I know I should be for the Lord. Mm -hmm. So it's called trust. Take that step and reach. Take that step on blind faith and prayer and follow him because you're not going to fall. You're not. You won't fall. Trust me. Amen. Thank you. You know, you know, I brought Colleen and Margie on here because they, I think that their faith and their passion for following the lead of God, and, and, and it was a step of faith every step of the way for them to, to, to go from, uh, you know, the seven or the nine to uh, the 63 and now, and now 72. And I, I, when I look at them, they're like my heroes because, you know, they're, they're, they're out doing this uh, out of their, uh, their free time. And sacrificing so much to make it happen, and they're and they become a blessing, and that's really the spiritual principle of of why we have faith. You know, God blesses us so that we can be a blessing in somebody else's life, and to fulfill that mission is one of the greatest joys in life. And these and and they're living it. Um, you know, so, so now that we kind of had a, I mean, I I hope this was inspiring for you. We're gonna probably hear a little bit more from Colin and Margin for sure. But I wanted to just to get a sense of who was on this call. Uh, if you look on your uh, side panel, everybody who's up with us, so now I'm talking not just to the people who are you can see, but to everyone out there who's uh, participating. On the side, you have your GoToWebinar control panel, and as you scroll down, you'll see a box that says questions, and there's a little arrow next to the word questions. And on the other side, there's like this little square. If you click on that little square, it kind of separates the box from the control panel, and in it, you can type any question that you want, and hit enter, and it'll pop up on my screen, it'll pop up on Allie's screen, I think it'll pop up on Tim's screen, and we're just going to take time to answer questions for you after I kind of present a little bit. But before I do that, I would love for everyone who's on the webinar to open up that screen, just type in your name, what conference you plan on coming to in 2018, and whether or not you know for sure you're going to be an ambassador. So if you just type on Bill Smith from Pittsburgh, I'm coming to Defending the Faith, and yes, I want to be an ambassador, or I'm Janet Jones from Cincinnati. I'm coming into Power and Purpose, but I'm not sure I want to be an ambassador. I'm just trying to learn more. So if you would do that for me, everyone who's on there, so I can just get a sense of who we are. You want us to do it too? No, we know who you are. We know where you're going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad you no, asked the no. question, Martine, because I'm typing no, away. I know Pauline. I knew she was doing that. 
And I've got uh, Katrina from uh, Katrina. Hi, good that you're on here. I know you. Katrina, you worked in our office for years. She's very wonderful. She's coming as an ambassador for Power and Purpose. Uh, I've got uh, Hannah coming from uh, Minnesota as an ambassador. That's great. I got Tommy from Augusta, South Carolina. Um, you know, and he's going to try to do. Uh, he's going to push all of their uh, all the conferences. And I oh. I, I've got Charlie from Orlando. Charlie and I have been talking. They just hosted their own big uh, local charismatic conference down in uh, Orlando, and he's coming up uh, this summer uh, with, uh, uh, let's just say, at least a busload, huh, Charlie? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, and he's going he's to be an ambassador and get people to, uh, to come. I've got uh, Rocky from Columbus. Uh, he's likely like to be a, an ambassador. we got Nora. She's uh, coming to uh, um, ABS and uh, possibly uh, Power and Purpose and might come as an as a ambassador. Uh, Linda from uh, Reno, Nevada. Wow, coming to ABS um, and Defending the Faith because why not? They're back to back. And if you're coming all the way from Reno, I get you. Come on. And, and you've got uh, at least 10 to 15 who are interested still. Oh, great. Well, we have whatever we can do to help. Uh, Tim is your uh, coach, and he'll be there to he'll, he'll get you whatever you need. And I got uh, Trina from uh, Berryville, Virginia. Is that far from you guys? You know where Berryville is? And she's okay. coming back on purpose. And then uh, John from Erie. Uh, he's going to uh, defend the faith. He's considering it. A little concerned. Hey, well, hopefully, uh, John, with the information that you can get, you'll, you'll have a little um, a little bit more uh, confidence. Same with you, Ann, coming from uh, Marblehead, Ohio. You know. Uh, you know, hopefully after we get done talking about what it takes, it won't seem such like, like such a daunting task. And we've got Harvey from uh, and, and Harvey and Virginia. They're coming to uh, defend the faith, and they want to be ambassador. And uh, your pastor's got your back on this. That's awesome. And you've oh, been, that's very awesome. You've been to a lot. He, they've been to the Defending the Faith Conference 11 times. How's that? That's impressive. Yeah. And, uh, Jack's going to be coming to Power and Purpose and ABS. Sophie from Waterloo, Ontario, uh, Canada, and you're just looking to come down to uh, Bosco and possibly be an ambassador. And Regina is from Hamilton, Ontario as well. Awesome. And then Sean from uh, Segertown, PA, coming to Power and Purpose. Uh, so, yeah, it's, Sean, I'm glad that you're coming back. Um, you know, I know, uh, like I said, like most people, uh, or Hazel, you know, uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, make sure that we uh, – answer all your questions and hopefully we'll make this as easy as possible for you to take the leap in. So I want to thank everyone who's on here and if anyone else is, else is going to jump on, they, sometimes that happens, you know, just welcome. So let me answer a few basic questions. What does it mean to be a student bill ambassador? Well, simply put, you decide that you're going to take the effort to work with people that you know, people that you worship with, people that you go to church with, people that you know who could use something in their life to help jumpstart their faith, and you're going to be, like our program says, an ambassador for Christ. Because ultimately, it's not about getting them to a student conference. It's about getting them back into the arms of Jesus. And, and, and we can do that through um, the experience of the Power and Purpose Conference. We can do that through uh, the great worship and teaching that excuse me, takes place at Defending the Faith. At Bosco Conference, there's a lot of great experiences, encounters, and just great uh, time for fellowship and strengthening. Um, so all of our conferences have this element of, of taking people, meeting them where they're at, but drawing them deep into that deeper relationship with Christ. And as an ambassador, what you would do is um, we have it set up this year uh, you, that you will basically communicate to people that you're interested in bringing what the conference is. And so we, we've created a couple of tools uh, to help you do that. The first is the Ambassador Toolkit, and that has got a lot of uh, scripts and background stuff on how to ask and how to do this kind of stuff. But the new this year is uh, the, the uh, uh, Ambassador uh, Success Plan. And really what it is is it's just breaking down what seems like the elephant of being an ambassador into bite-sized chunks that you can do over the course of the next nine months to help you reach the goal that God puts on your heart. And of course, the first thing is to pray because God's going to want to do something probably bigger than you're wanting to, but he won't call you to it unless he's going to see you through it. So understand, if you yeah, have right. a desire to be an ambassador, God has a greater desire for you to be an ambassador and already has everything that you need waiting for you 
All you have to do is step forward and say yes. But what do you do if you say yes? A couple of practical things. Number one, you have to enroll. And what it means to enroll as an ambassador is you're saying, look, I'm committed to bringing, I'm committed to coming to a conference and bringing in at least 10 other people with me. You know, because once, because you know, because what really what we're trying to do is help you create the nucleus of a community that can go back to your parish and your community and your family and act as a catalyst for ongoing conversion and bring other people in it, just like Colleen and Margie did. You know, they had this amazing experience. This small group started sharing with other people the joy of the Lord, the joy of the gospel, the joy of the Holy Spirit. And, and people just are so attracted to that that this community grew. And then the next year, it just exploded. And they brought you know, like 63 people to the conference. So it, this is how it works. This is how the early church grew from 12 to thousands almost overnight as, as they lived out the joy of the gospel and lived in, in the love of Christ. People were just drawn in it. And, and, and as you know, in many places, uh, our, our, our parishes are operating as dispensaries of sacrament, but are they really communities of love and prayer? Even the ones that are could use an upgrade or it could use a revitalization. We always are seeking new outpourings of the Holy Spirit, new outpourings of grace so that we can become the people that Christ created to be. So you would enroll as an ambassador. And what happens when you enroll as an ambassador? is that you're going to get access to our new ambassador page, which Tim is going to describe for us in a few minutes. You will also be assigned either myself, Jordan, or Tim to be your coach. So you're never alone on this journey. And we're, you'll have our email, you'll have our phone number. Uh, we prefer you not call us at midnight in crisis mode, but if, if need be, uh, Tim will pick up the phone. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I get my phone call. <laughs> But, you know, but, but any time that you need help or resources or, or, or you have any questions, we'll help you. So what you'll do is, is when registration opens for ambassadors at the, uh, the week, at the end of October, so we're opening up registration for everyone who's an ambassador a week before everybody else so you can get in there and register. Because once you're registered and confirmed as an ambassador, this year what we're going to do, drum roll please, we're going to send you an exclusive link that you can share with everyone that you invite, that when they register, they'll automatically be assigned to your group. So you won't have to worry about calling in and saying, hey, did so-and-so put me down as the ambassador? If they register with the link that we send you and you keep, um, you know, uh, keep doing that, uh, sending that link and sharing that link, every time somebody registers for that link, they're automatically gonna be assigned to your group. That way, we'll know exactly who's come with whose group. We can give you, if you call us up and say, hey, I've invited these five people, did they register? Well, we can look at everyone who registered under your link very quickly and say, no, they haven't registered under your link yet, and you can give them a call. You know, we want to help you track. We want to help you say, you know, if you want to call and say, hi, how many people have re actually registered under my group? We can give you that information and keep you motivated and keep you focused. And, um, you know, so that it, and that's really cool. So you'll get your exclusive registration link. You start building your group, um, and you know, it's all about what Margie and Colin shared first. It's about sharing the joy that you have from knowing Christ and talking about um, the uh, ability uh, for other people to find that for themselves. You know, when you when you want to invite somebody in, you you are doing the first act of evangelization. I'm often brought back to the story of St. Andrew, how when he met Christ, ran and found his brother. And he didn't preach at him. He didn't, like, bombard him with all this. Look at what I did. He said, and he goes, I think I found the Messiah. Come with me. And, he, and they just ran off together to find Jesus. And, and, and Peter had his own encounter with the Lord. And, and, and Peter became the rock, St. Peter, and our first pope. So who knows what will happen in the lives of people that you introduce to Christ through a stupid little conference. As we've seen uh, in the case of Margini and Christie, there's vocations being called forth. There's communities being revitalized. There's people coming into the church who weren't Catholic or now Catholic because of their efforts. Do you, do you see that this is so much bigger than student bill conferences? You know, that this is something that really has the potential to revolutionize parishes and communities and lives and hearts. So, you know, you'll register, 
for the conference. After you're enrolled, you'll get your exclusive registration link. We're going to be able to send you little invite cards that say basically, come with me to the 2018 what? Power and Purpose Conference. You'll just hand them out. And you can write your own name. And you can write your own name and phone number on the back of it. So and you can say if you have any questions, call me. It has our web address on there so they can go check out the conference online. We've created really cool promo videos for each one of our adult conferences that are going to be up on the website soon, including uh, a power and purpose promo video that has Colleen and Margie in it. Yeah. Yeah, I um, yeah, we got to see it first. <laughs> and we're not paying you any extra for that, Margie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, now, the, the, main, the main thing, John, that you need to point out is they need to get excited. They need to show the excitement. They need to show the love. They need to show what the Holy Spirit is doing. Hey, I like that. Yeah, so this is this is one this one's the one that looks like for priest deacons and seminarians, but we're gonna have a card like this for every uh, conference, and like I said, you can just write your own name and number on the backside and hand it out to every and uh, you'll have it an opportunity at the end of this webinar to request those resources from us and we will then uh, put them in the mail for you. We're going to have the order fulfilled and then uh, so we'll have to send an order to the printers kind of get an idea of how many we're going to need to print. Once we get them back from the printer we'll put them in the mail and ship them out to everybody right away. Uh, we also true. have uh, full color flyers for each one of our adult conferences that you can use uh, to send it to people. We're also going to have uh, to help promote it a really cool designed art, art, artistic um, things that Allie, who's on our team, and she's, uh, she's kind of shy, so she didn't want to be on camera tonight, but Allie is an extremely talented designer, and she well, is designing like Facebook uh, ads for you to use in your Facebook page. She's designing, um, uh, you know, you're going to get, uh, uh, oh, what else am I, what, you know, stuff for um, Instagram and all the different social media channels you might be on to help promo your being an ambassador to other people and inviting them in. We're gonna, we've got some text for, for emails. If you want to send an email through your church's database, we've already scripted out an email that you can just cut and paste. You can tweak it any way you want to make it as personal as you want, but we've given you a rough draft of an email that you can send to people. We also have, um, you know, what else do we got? This is fantastic, guys. I know. We never had any of this. How come? <laughs> Oh, and, and we've got text for bulletins, so you, we'll, we'll be sending you text marketing uh -huh. your, uh, uh, your, your, your conference through your church's bulletin. So, you know, and your neighboring church's bulletin, and maybe every church's bulletin within a 50-mile radius of your church, who knows? You can be as creative and as expansive as you want, but we've got a whole new kit of, set of, uh, of tools that you have. You'll also get um, a regular call, and, we, and what we'll do is after... Uh, this is over. We'll look at all the people who are enrolled as ambassadors. And everyone who's enrolled as an ambassador for the Power and Purpose Conference will get a call from me within the next couple weeks. From Tim, if you're going to ABS and uh, Defending the Faith. For Jordan, if you're going to Priest Deacons and Seminarians or St. John Bosco uh, Conference. And we'll just set up a, a rhythm to kind of check in because we want you to stay focused, encouraged, and excited about being an ambassador because we want you to taste and see the fruit of the success that comes when you put in the work and effort and put your faith in God and take these steps. But with all these resources, really, it still comes back down to you. Can you go forth in the joy of Jesus and share? Because once you start inviting people and people start saying yes, they'll register. And... You know, the, the best part will come when you come to the summer and you get to see God working in their lives. But as a That's way of true. us showing our appreciation for you and to make it a little bit interesting, we've also decided that um, for every person, uh, for every ambassador that registers uh, by the first week of conferences and gets five people to register with them, every ambassador that does that is going to get a free book from our bookstore. Um, you know, and if you register another five people before Christmas, we've got a Christmas present for you. That Ooh, I like that. You, so, and we're also going to be doing uh, some some drawings on different webinars that we're doing it's for people to to to, to win stuff, and because we we want to make it fun for you as well. We don't want you to be looking at this and thinking, "Oh, this is such work." Um, uh, you know. 
we want uh, you know you to have a good time, an exciting time doing this, and really know that we are we got your back and we're loving you. We also have um, an exclusive t-shirt that we'll give to every ambassador this year. And Tim, show them what the t-shirt looks like. We might do a different color. I think we need to do a different color for 2018. Um, and everyone's gonna and everyone's gonna get one except for Colleen. So Marjean can say, "Hey, you like my T-shirt? You like my T-shirt? You like my T-shirt?" Oh no! Turn on this fair play. So. Um, oh my God! Show the back side. In the back side, we have uh, our logo. Oh, oh! Everyone who does who can, who brings ten people will get a T-shirt as well. But it doesn't end there. Because there is a time and effort. We, we also want to help uh, any way we can. And so what we've decided to do this year is if you're an ambassador for every person that you bring as part of your group, we're going to give you a $20 gift, whether they've been before or not. You as an ambassador will get $20, a refund at the end of the conference season for everyone in your group. Now, there are some stipulations that we'll talk to you about individually offline. But the idea is if you were to bring some, uh, bring 20 people with you, you would get a refund of $400, which would basically wipe out the cost of your conference. Housing, food, and registration would be covered. Wow. So if you build a group of 20, you're coming for free. Wow. Um, yeah, and, and so, uh, we, you know, we just want to make it as easy as possible for you to come and for you to feel like you're appreciated in all this. Because believe me, believe me when I say, there's nobody we appreciate more than the people who are like like, like Colleen and, and, and all the other uh, Margin and all the other ambassadors who work so hard to bring people. And even bringing ten is a blessing. It's a blessing for those ten people. It's a blessing for you. It's a blessing for us to be able to have that as part of our conferences. Because it'd be awful if we uh, had a, a conference and nobody showed up. <laughs> so we're, we're we're very very grateful for the hard work and effort that you guys have put forth. So. Um, what else might I want to say? Guys, Tim, Jordan, do you guys have anything you want to add from your experience about uh, what you see, um, you know, uh, see happening and, or, or, or want to share about the program? <laughs> no? That way. You're on, you're on mute, Tim. Uh, I wasn't sure if Jordan was, uh, was, was jumping a bit there. Um, yeah, one of the things that I think um, Martina and Colleen alluded to is the importance of a team when you're doing this. Um, a lot of the most successful ambassadors we found is working with one other person, even two, three other people who are the core team. You know, who are really who are really there to help. You know, build that group. Are really there to support one another, support one another in prayer. And also support one another in the practical things, you know, in booking the bus or booking the hotels or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, and when you have that team, you're really able to mobilize people and really expand your reach to a lot wider crowd. Um, I really think that this ambassador program is about mobilizing others. You know, so you personally are not going to have to invite 20 people, 30 people, 50 people, okay? But you might invite 10 and then tell each of them, listen, why don't you guys all invite a friend? Bring one other person with you. And by that time, you double your group, you know? And with those people, now they bring a friend. You know, and it's very much just like this discipleship model of, you know, you tell someone and bring someone else along with you. And then they bring someone else along with them. And so, you know, really just working as a team and knowing that, like, it's not all on your shoulders. You know, you can solicit other people, solicit your best friends, your siblings, your mom, your aunt, your uncle, whoever it is, to help you build this group. And the great thing about it is that we are also a part of that team. You know, we are here to bounce ideas off of. We're here to just talk on the phone, as Marjean, you know, has definitely taken advantage of that more than once. You know, like that's, that's part of why we're here. You know, we're really here to, to, to walk with they you. They're here to answer questions, guys. <laughs> that. My recommendation would be that everybody gets a Margin. I want every ambassador to get a Margin. You need that in your life. I'm telling you. You do anything. <laughs> just, just to be clear, though, you can't have her Margin. You have to get a different Margin. <laughs> you can't have my Margin. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, 
but if anybody has any any questions or, or any thing that they want to run by me, feel free to get a hold of the guys. They've got my email. Um, they've got my telephone number. So I'm here if you need me. Because it's That's exciting. Good. It's so exciting. Yeah, I think I think that's awesome. We'll definitely be having uh, Colleen and Margie back on some future webinars about this. And that's the other thing that we're going to have for for you guys uh, who, who are on uh, the, the ambassador team. Um, we want to not just encourage you to do the work. We want to we want to feed your soul. And so once the, once a month, I'm going to be hosting along with. Uh, some other uh, guests that I'll be bringing on, a webinar designed to help you grow in your faith. You know, it, it's, it's a simple thing where we just can come on and give support. Now, all of the stuff that I just mentioned, all the resources, all the tools, we're going to be able to get those to you. In fact, if you go over to, um, you once again, go to your go to webinar control panel and you see the word handouts, there's a little arrow pointing at the word handouts. And if you click on that arrow, pointing to the, for me it's the right, it drops down and you can see right there the Ambassador Success Plan and the Ambassador Toolkit that you can download to your computer right from the, the webinar tonight. So everybody take a moment to download the Ambassador Success Plan and the Ambassador Toolkit. You don't necessarily have to open it at this point, but I just want you to know you can take it with you when you leave. And you can begin reviewing the resources and materials that are in the updated Success Plan and Toolkit. Um, just so you know, we don't cap the number of people that you can bring, and we don't cap the number of, uh, of $20 gifts that will refund you. You know, so if you bring 50 people, and Margie knows this, and Colleen knows this, we're, we're good to our word. We, uh, and it's also, John, can I just intercept there? It's also great to use it as financial aid for somebody in your group that you may not be able to financially make it. That's, yeah. that's a great way to use it too. Yeah, and that's, and that's uh, you know, I was gonna say, the way that you guys have used that, it's been very selfless and very, once again, using it to bless other people. So thank you for being such a, uh, a great uh, role model on, on how that works. Now, Eventually, all the things that I just mentioned will be available to be downloaded by the other thing that's new this year. And this is the other thing that you'll get when you enroll in the Ambassador Program, which is we're going to give you a password. And with that password, you're going to be able to access an exclusive page on our website just for ambassadors. And hey. we're we're filling it with highlights. We're filling it with uh, resources. We're filling it with prayer. We're filling it with encouragement. And it's full of all sorts of great, wonderful digital goodness. And to explain more about that, I'm going to hand it over to the man who's designing it and populating it with all this great stuff, Mr. Tim Wood. And Tim's going to share his screen with you. So uh, just when you, if you see something pop up, you're like, what's going on? It's just Tim sharing his screen. All right. Um, so, like John said, uh, we're going to have a uh, an ambassador. We're calling it the ambassador portal, um, where you're going to be able to access all of these resources. Uh, so, if you can see it there on the screen, John, can you see it? It's it's coming in clear. I can see it just fine. Thanks. Okay, great. So, um, so I'm just going to walk you through, just kind of give you a little little uh, lay of the land here. Um, as John was saying, our goal is really to do two things, is to provide you with resources um, and also to provide you with encouragement. And that encouragement is going to come through prayer, is going to come through sharing of glory stories, different things like that. Um, so as you see, as we scroll down here, um, you're going to have just a kind of a welcome paragraph explaining what we're doing here. Um, John talked about those steps for being an ambassador, um, and we have them listed right here on the page. Um, so this is the process for being an ambassador. This is really how we're going to guide you down that path, and this is going to be your roadmap to success for being an ambassador, for building a group and, and bringing people to the student book conferences, and then also really building those relationships with those people as well. Um, this is some information that comes out of the, the ambassador success plan, which you have there to download as well. 
Um, as we continue to go down, we're going to have this section here, the ambassador updates. Uh, right now, I just have an example of a, um, a post here, just a welcome post. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to click here, continue reading, um, and you'll be able to come here to this blog and you know, read all about you know, what the portal does, different things like that. Um, and it will have a link here that will go right back to uh, the ambassador portal here. Um, so uh, we'll go back to this update section. As we continue to scroll down, we're going to have an ambassador resource section. Uh, so these are the two documents that you have for download currently that are attached to this webinar, uh, the ambassador toolkit here and the ambassador success plan. Uh, this is also the section where we're going to have the flyers that will be able to be downloaded for each conference so that you can print those out um, as you will. Like John said, if you, have, um, if you have a desire for us to print things, you, know, you don't have access to a color printer or different things like that, or you want the, the invitation cards, uh, we will be sending you an email, uh, or, or we'll send you the email address that you can uh, send those requests to uh, a little bit later on today. Um, as you continue here, uh, we have this ambassador connection section. So, uh, a little Dr. Seuss there, connection section. Um, so this, this, uh, this part right here it has two, two aspects to it. So one, we are always praying for you. We're always lifting up you and your loved ones. We're lifting up your ministry as ambassadors, just your, your personal life and, your, and your, your heart. And we're just always lifting them up uh, during our weekly staff meetings. But what this allows for you to do is if you have specific uh, requests that you could use some prayers for, specific intentions, we'd love to hear those from you. Um, now, one of the things that we are planning on doing with this, uh, as it says right here, is that we're going to actually um, publish a, a weekly, if there's that many intentions, maybe every other week, uh, basically summary or list of the intentions. And the goal of that is not to broadcast them, is not to you know, you know, tell everyone in the world, but it's to let your fellow ambassadors know uh, what can be prayed for, so that everyone who's an ambassador is really lifting up the other people who are, who are ambassadors as well. Uh, this will only. This will if, only you want, if you want people to pray for you by name, you can include. You can put your name on it, and we'll push, publish it with name. If you want it to remain anonymous, you just say anonymous prayer request, and we'll just put up there a special intention from one of our ambassadors and just write it out. So that you know, you it, it like you said, you might have a prayer request that you don't necessarily want to make it public, but you want to share it. We'll keep it anonymous at your discretion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with that, this is only being published here on the Ambassador Portal, which you need a password to log into. So it's only ambassadors who are looking at this. And so, you know, really to be able to build that, that community around this ministry that we're involved with. The second thing is, is going to be a spot to enter glory stories. Uh, so this is really what we're having uh, Marjean and Colleen share with us tonight. How has the Lord worked in your heart? How has the Lord worked in, the, in other people's hearts through your ministry as an ambassador? And what we'll do with these is it'll be a similar thing where, you know, as we get them in and, you know, as we, we have time to, we'll publish them on this ambassador portal for encouragement for other people. Uh, so really to be able to praise the Lord for what he's doing, uh, to give him glory where it's due, and really to just, to just encourage each other and call each other on to, to be committed to this and, and to, to really spread the love of Christ through, through this ministry. Um, so we have those there. And then the bottom here, we have the contact information. So uh, it tells you, you know, if you look for your conference, Power and Purpose is John, uh, Priesting and Seminarians, and St. John Bosco is going to be Jordan. Um, and then Applied Biblical Studies and Defending Faith will be me. And this is our, our email and, and phone numbers here that anytime that you need us, you can feel free to contact us. And so we're going to be at your disposal there. So this is just a little sneak peek of what we have coming. Um, you know, we're going to continue to, you know, as we talk with you and work with you, if there's more resources that you could use that would be helpful, uh, we're going to do our best to develop those things as well and really continue to be, to be up to date and really uh, sensitive to what, what you need and what you guys are going through and really how we can help you to best serve uh, those people in your parish and in your group. Right. So that about, that about sums it up for the uh, ambassador uh, yeah. portal there. And, uh, and what we also will do um, in, in terms of uh, communicating through that portal is we're also going to highlight the successes that people are having along the way. So if you have a great month and you enroll 10 ambassadors, we're going to highlight that and say congratulations to uh, 
Katrina, she got ten people signed up as part of her group this past week. You know, so we really want to we really want to make this exciting for you, not just work because it it does uh, it does take time. I'm not gonna lie, no one's gonna lie to you here and say, oh, this is so easy. It's the easiest thing you'll ever do. It's not gonna stretch you at all. You're, it's gonna be comfortable. Uh, that would be a lie. I'd have to go to confession. Often, it will oftentimes push you out of your comfort zone, but as I've been uh, fond of telling people lately, if you're looking for the Lord's will in your life, don't look for it in your comfort zone because it's never there. God does not want to meet us in a place of comfort and ease. He wants to meet us where we're going to have to take a step of faith because that's when our faith will really grow. We're not going to ease our way into heaven like we ease our way into a lazy boy. You know, we're going to have to work at this. And our job here on earth is to, uh, get to, um, is to get to heaven and bring as many people as possible with us. Um, so, you know, with that being said, you know, I want to open it up right now uh, for any questions. Somebody just asked, how do we get to this portal? Well, once you uh, enroll as an ambassador in, in, in uh we, you can, we, we can re-enroll you tonight as part of this webinar. You know, it, once you, re, you know, re-enroll as an ambassador, we will send you the link and the password you know, uh, for you to have access to that. So um, that, that's coming. You know, in, in the meantime, you know, we can get you access to all the, uh, all the other resources that we have so that uh, you can, uh, can check it out. So, when you know when you go to our website and you click be an ambassador you'll see that uh you scroll down and you'll see that uh sign in for uh are you already enrolled as an ambassador so we'll be uh, going through the list of people who enroll and we'll be sending you the link and password and, and it's going to be uh um uh you know It'll be an opportunity for for for, for, for people to you know to, to access these resources. Somebody said, would it be possible to post on the portal thing that things that work to attract parishioners? Yeah, there's some of that is in the toolkit. Some of that is in the um, uh, you know the the, the uh, success plan. But we're also going to be having two other webinars as part of our training coming up in October, and one of them is going to be. Uh, how do we? How do you tell your own story to somebody so that you can share that joy of Jesus with other people? And the other is, how can we speak of these conferences in the right way to make them attractive to people? So all the advertising and marketing resources, the handouts, the cards, everything else, the text, the images for social media, will all be on the portal, and you'll have access to those so that you can share them with other people. And uh, but uh, we, there's also going to be like promotional videos for each conference that you can share with people. And they'll be on the individual conference sites. So if you want the Power and Purpose video, you go to the Power and Purpose page on our website, and you'll find what you need there. Um, um, yeah, one of the things that we might do, and uh, you know, once once you enroll as an ambassador, you get access to this portal page. Um, we're going to encourage you to check the portal page often because another way that we might be able to share ideas is. Uh, we may publish uh, a blog that basically says, you know, this blog, you know, we want to talk about what are some of the best practices that people have found, you know, what's been working over the past couple of weeks that you want to share. And what you can actually do is you can actually comment on that post, and we'll be able to moderate those comments and, and kind of help to, to share those and, and, you know, really, really respond to different questions and things like that. So I think that that would be another great way uh, when we pose those questions to go onto that blog and comment so that we can really share share the ideas of what the best practices are for this. Yep, yep. Somebody asked, would there be a way of finding out uh, anyone else in the area that's interested in being an ambassador uh, to work and, see, and to work with them? You know, like, so somebody might, so I think this question is, I'm here, I want to be an ambassador, but I don't have that buddy, I don't have that person close to me. Is there any way of finding out if somebody's coming from the conference to a conference from my area that I could kind of meet and see if they want to do this together? Um, so if we can definitely look into that. We don't have anything automated that would uh, allow us that. And without knowing who's coming yet for 2018, I couldn't really tell you who's definitely coming that you could reach out to. But um, Sophie, what conference are you interested in attending? You just take a minute and type that in. Because we'll whoever's going to be your coach will follow up with you, and we'll look at um, 
Okay, so you say the boss were defending the faith. Tim, I'm gonna let you uh, take the lead on following up with Sophie and, and, and answering that question for her. And, uh, um, uh, yeah, so, so anyway, you know, we'll do that. Uh, one woman is wanting to be an ambassador for two conferences, so double your pleasure, double your fun. Um, and we will, uh, she's having trouble with rolling that though, so, uh, but here, here's what we're gonna do to help everybody. Um, you know, who wants to be on here, and then uh, um, um, yeah, so, so anyone who wants to sign up, uh, what am I trying to say? So we're going to have something, we're going to have a way of helping you sign up at the end of the, 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 uh, the, the webinar, so don't, don't worry about that. Um, is there a financial incentive for people signing up for your group? Okay, so like so the financial incentive for people being a part of a group is simple this year. The, uh, it's $20 for everybody that you have new. You know, uh, that's the only incentive that we can offer this year in terms of, uh, of uh, people who you invite to be a part of your group, but if they've never been to a conference before and you invite them and they come along, when they register as part of your group, there, there's going to be a question asked, uh, uh, do I have, you know, are, is this your first time? And they're, if they hit yes, they're going to get a $20 uh, discount off the cost of their registration. We also have, we also have the early bird deadline, which is, doesn't have until April, but getting everyone enrolled by April will ensure that not only do the first timers get the $20 discount, but that everyone in your group will get the $25 early bird discount as well. So this is why we want to hit the ground running in October, get a bunch of people on, build your team, help you build your team, help you get a plan together that you can stick with and pray through and, and support one another through and build the group. And it would be a blessing to hit your goal by you know January and, and figure out, well, do we want to expand? rather than worry about come April, well, do we have enough people for our group? I, I, I think when you see things through God, God's eyes, everything that we think is big is small, and everything that we think is small is huge. So just being joyful in that witness, we think that's no big thing, that's huge. You know, you're worried about how to get a bus, that seems huge, that's small. All money belongs to God, and he'll figure out how to, how to help you pay for everything. Just, uh, you know. Have, to have like like Marjean said, take that step of faith. Let God let God uh, you know motivate your heart. It's awesome. Um, I would okay, like so, to comment on that if I can. Yeah, on, sure. the, on the cost factor, because you know Marjean and I have heard that a lot over the years. People will bring up the price. Oh, it's so expensive. We can't possibly go. But I think you know you have to put this in perspective. Um, I think that if people were offered the opportunity to go to Disney World for the same price that it cost them to go to Steubenville, they would take it. They would pay for it. But Steubenville is going to do a whole lot more for you than Disney World will. Steubenville, you have the opportunity to encounter Jesus and have a transformative life experience. And so I think you have to decide what your priorities are. I mean, Disney World may have the magic, but Steubenville's got the power. So that's what we got to do. <laughs> it is the power of the Holy Spirit. It's nothing else. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> marketing, uh, marketing. It's Catholic Disneyland. <laughs> it's Catholic Disneyland. That's the truth. It is. And it's, I mean, you know, we're talking about eternity here. So. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hey John, John, this is Jordan. I'm I'm on audio. My my internet went down at home, and uh, so I, I'm I'm off the the laptop. But if I can make a couple comments, just listening in, just some advice from last year's work, coaching ambassadors for the Bosco Conference. Um, everything that's being said tonight is right on. Um, some of the things that were were interesting last year is, um, or, or I guess it's just helpful from the experience of last year. Um, is how important it is to find somebody to help you uh, in your ambassador work, kind of your co-chair or your, your partner in crime, just like Colleen and Marjean have going on at their parish. Um, one, of the things, one of the things that we were able to do last year for the Bosco Conference, and I think that John and Tim as ambassador coaches we can help with uh, for this next year's conferences, if a particular ambassador is struggling to find people in their area, 
who would like to be a part of their group, um, we do have access to be able to um, send out emails to people who have been to the conferences in the past who maybe are in their area or nearby. We did that particularly for the Bosco conference last year and were able to find a few folks to join a particular person's group. So that was a really cool way that even though we were remote, we weren't in the area that they were, you know, we were in Steubenville, Ohio doing this work, we could still assist in a meaningful way and it was really helpful for that particular ambassador. So um, we really desire, and, and I'll speak for John and Tim, I think this is right on, really desire to create a relationship with all of the ambassadors to work with you. Um, you know, it's funny that our title is coach because a coach is all is there we need to, to help you when you need them but sometimes a coach is there to help you when you don't want it you know you've, you've probably seen those uh, uh, shows on TV with the coaches and the, you know, the weight loss programs who are making you stretch a little bit do things that you don't necessarily want to do or can't think you can do and and it is possible when you work together so that's something that will also be uh, approaching this role uh, with and um, We'll be, we'll be your coach, you know, helping you along the way, uh, every step of the way. Amen. Thank you, Jordan. Such good points. You know, like really, th th this is what it's all about is, you know, if you, if, you know, our mission here in the uh, Christian Outreach Office is as really prayerfully discerned, and it, we didn't go too far from our, our Franciscan roots, is what Jesus received from the Lord Jesus Christ from the cross as he prayed, and that was, go rebuild my church. Um, and when we think about the church in many areas where faith has grown cold, you know, the practice of the faith is on some, in some places non-existent. Next door in the Diocese of Pittsburgh, they're under, under such strain that they are reducing uh, the number of parishes by like a hundred. I mean, like they're they're oh. consolidating and clustering, and all this stuff is happening. Um, it's, pain, it's a painful process, but it's marked by just a, lot, a lack of fervor in the laity and, and a lack of involvement in the church. And so, um, yeah, you know, we really want we really want to turn that around. We are not sitting here in our chairs thinking, "Oh, last one up, shut the lights off, and then the church is done." Our best days are ahead of us, and I believe this with all of my heart. Why? Because as you and I sit on this webinar together, brothers and sisters, we have the power of the resurrected Jesus Christ at work in our lives. The same power that rose Jesus from the dead is the power that we go forth to proclaim his love to this world. And if Jesus' voice, anointed by the Holy Spirit, can call Lazarus from the tomb, then you and I, brothers and sisters, anointed by the Holy Spirit, can speak words that will help draw people out of their dead faith into living faith, if through a living encounter with Jesus Christ, through the power of his Holy Spirit, through his living word, through the sacraments which he gave us as the things that would nurture and bring our souls to life. Baptism started it, confirmation completes it, and every time we go to Eucharist and reconciliation, we are strengthened for, sap, for holiness, strength and permission. We cannot give up. We cannot surrender. We cannot think this is just a slow slide into irrelevance and obscurity for the Catholic Church. We can win back our country. We can win back our lost fellow brothers and sisters who are in our church and even find brothers and sisters who are separated by a different face and bring them back to Mother Church. That is our destiny that is our heritage and that is why I want to embolden everyone on here not to be afraid there is nothing to be afraid of if God calls you to it he will see you through it because he has put his spirit in you and you've been baptized as priest prophet and king and you can overcome all and do all through the name of Jesus Christ amen amen <laughs> all right so yeah so you know, Charlie, you, he, uh, we're still getting questions. Please, we, we've got a few more minutes. So if you have any other questions, please type them in. And let me, I'll let you know that we will be communicating with you. Um, if you look, Allie, I think, sent a message for everyone in the chat room saying, if you want to enroll to be an ambassador, there's the link. If you have trouble with the, uh, the ambassador portal, then go ahead and um, 
and just send either myself, Tim, or, or Jordan, whoever your ambassador coach is, a, a, an email, and we will fix that and get you enrolled so that you get, when we have that ambassador page done, we give you your password so you can get in there and start downloading the resources. Uh, I got Charlie down in Orlando who's already got seven people committed to coming with him. So he's up. I, I think I've got to figure out who, what prize I'm going to get for the largest group. Yeah. It's going to be good. Maybe, maybe I'll get like rhinestone studded denim jackets with the ambassador logo on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It'll be better than that. Better than that. All right. So, um, so we will help connect you with past participants to help you build groups. We will help you. Uh, you know, we do have a list of uh, contacts some in different dioceses that we can supply to you that you can reach out to. Um, like, like there really is no, um, there really is no, uh, what am I trying to say, limit as to the help that we can give in terms of connecting you. We have a lot of resources at our disposal and we will make them all available to you in any way that we can. And John, so, I just want to speak to that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, don't be afraid to think outside the box. You know, just because we haven't mentioned it as a way to spread the word or build a group or recruit people, it probably means that you have a better idea than we do. So, so don't be afraid to speak up and suggest it. And if you want to bounce it off of us, you know, that's what we're here for, to float ideas. You know, if, if you got something, we say run with it. You know, just run with it and do it. You know, because the Lord's going to tell you to do things that we're not necessarily going to know because we're not it. You know, and so you got to listen to where he's calling you, what he's calling you to do, and, and just run for it. Just go for it. Yeah. And, and I would say don't underestimate the importance of having a strong prayer life yourself as an ambassador. Um, you know, we can't operate on our own. We can't do anything on our own. It is through the power of the Holy Spirit that strengthens us. It renews us. It refreshes us. It keeps us going forward. It gives us the courage to stand up and share the truth. Um, the Holy Spirit is everything. I mean, really, it's the power. So if you don't have the Holy Spirit in your life, you're not going to be effective as an ambassador. So I would just encourage everyone to have a really strong prayer life personally. Don't start your day without prayer. Don't start your day without scripture. Don't start your day without handing everything over to the Lord and saying, Lord, your will be done. Use me however you want to use me today, and that is your most effective tool in your toolbox is prayer. Um, and then I'd also, if you don't have a group of people, a support system, start one. Start a prayer ministry. If the Lord leads you to it, just do it. Um, it's our prayer ministry. Marjean and I... In our prayer ministry, this is our family. This is our, oh, it's what keeps us going. It's what gives us something to go back to. After we come home from the Power and Purpose Conference, we have a place in our church where we can go and pray together and, and encourage each other and start to build those really strong roots because the Power and Purpose, like, kicked it off. It's lit that fire, but you got to keep that fire going through your, your prayer with your church family and, and those friendships and everything. It is everything. So um, that's, all, that's all I'd like to say. I just think that that is so important. Mm. Amen. <laughs> um, say, uh, we still have time for a few more questions. And, and we won't, if, if, if you guys don't really have any more questions, we can wrap this up. One, some Abigail Riguero said, probably should be free registration for 2019. Well, you're going to get free registration for the conference that you bring people to anyway because you're an ambassador. So I, I maybe maybe it's uh, free registration for all five conferences on campus. Of course, the priest deacons and seminaries might be a little awkward if you showed up for that one, Abigail. So maybe uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it's going to be bigger than that. Okay, bigger than that. Like this is this is come on. I'm just, it's gonna be. I like to have a car. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> Believe me, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be huge. Just to just to clarify what John said, the reason you'll get free registration is because you're gonna bring 20 people. Exactly. Because you're, 
Yeah, because so you're going to have to clarify that you don't just get it for being an ambassador, but when you bring 20 people, that's enough for, for, for registration. So, And if that's not enough, you can, Tim will have you over to his house for dinner and cook for you. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. I'm not, I'm not. Can you cook? <laughs> I'm no Bobby, Bobby Flay, but I mean, I, I can, I can make a mean, I can make a mean chicken, you know? Oh, wow. Well, all right. Marjean, are we going? I mean, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Well, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, let me just, uh, can I just do one last quick poll of the people who are still on the, uh, the, the webinar with us? For those of you who are left, can you type, um, you know, your, just uh, instead of asking a question, just say, um, uh, type yes or learn more. Yes, you definitely are going to be an ambassador and you want somebody to follow up this webinar with a phone call to you or to reach out to you or learn more and you want somebody to reach out to you so you can learn more. So if you hit yes, that means that you're definitely going to be an ambassador and you want somebody to reach out to you. If you hit learn more, it's the same thing. But be sure to specify for what conference. So uh, yes, power and purpose, you know, um, yes, Bosco, so that I know who's going to reach out to you. So if you say defending the faith, then Tim's going to contact you. If you say St. John Bosco is going to be uh, Jordan. If you say power and purpose is going to be me, you know, we just want to know who we're going to connect you with. All right. So, um, yeah. So just, you know, if you would just do that. And then if you're, if there's any topics, okay, like, like, uh, um, like Tim was sharing, like, how do you build a group? You know, like that's going to be a whole nother webinar. I mean, we're going to have that stuff. And we're going to be talking about all the all these things, and, and even some of our webinars that aren't necessarily going to be training on how to be an ambassador are going to help you. Uh, like I think one of the webinars already that we will do uh, probably in December, and I'll probably ask Colleen and Margie to be a part of it is, well, how do I build a support group at my parish? Yeah, you know, I mean, you guys, it, when you recruit somebody to be a part of your uh, group coming to the conferences, you're going to want. Um, you're going to want to uh, to be meeting and praying with them leading up to the conference. You're not going to want to wait to the conference before you all just get together for the first time. You're going to want to build this community in preparation for the experience. And if that's not something that you're comfortable with or you're not even really sure how to go about doing it, we will have a webinar for you to help you figure out how to build a support group or prayer group, whatever kind of group you're looking for, um, you know, uh, so that you can really begin uh, – Building that community that will transform your 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 parish, your 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 friends' lives. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to close this in prayer. Actually, one uh, more thing. Uh, yeah, sure. Thing. Um, I just want to point out uh, if you guys look in your message box, um, Ali Winter just sent out uh, the process for requesting uh, print materials. Uh, and so if you see the email there is ambassadors at franciscan.edu. Um, and you will, uh, she, she gave you some instructions there um, just about how to do it and, um, you know, how to, uh, what information to give us so that we get it to you and get the right information to you. Uh, I'm making so, ambassador cards. Again, if you have any it's questions. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions. under control. <laughs> Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact your ambassador coach, and they'll be able to, to direct you as well. All right, go ahead and pray now, John. <laughs> Pick a card. Pick a card. Hey, Pick a card. Just go pray. All right. <laughs> we need we need Father, prayer. Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, we thank you that um, in your mercy and in your love, you have chosen the broken things of this world, the sinful people of this world, to be your followers to do the great work of bringing salvation to other people. And Lord, we, we are all on this journey together. Help us to walk together in support of one another in the mission to go rebuild the church so that as we do and, and respond to your call, that we can draw other people into that life-changing relationship, that we can renew our families, we can renew our friends, we can renew our parishes, we can renew our communities, and then we can renew the world. 
Our God, we need your grace. We trust in you for all these things. Just be with us. Be with us on this ambassador path. Give us a vision of what you desire, Lord. Show us your will. Show us your glory, Lord, so that we can line up behind you and do the things that you are calling us to do. And let us not be afraid. Let us not be doubting your ability to do miracles in us and through us. And bless everyone on this webinar. Bless their families. Bless those that they love. Bless their work. Bless their relationship with you, Jesus, that they would be drawn deeper into the mystery of your love and strengthened by the Holy Spirit to know you, love you, and serve you with their whole mind, soul, and strength. And I ask this all in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Father, Son. Amen. All right, everybody. Have a wonderfully blessed night. Have a good rest of your week and an awesome weekend. And, you know, as you see in the box, if you type email ambassadors at franciscan.edu, request the cards, full color flyers, we'll send those to you. All right. Thanks a lot for everybody. Have a great Thank night. You. Bye, guys. God bless. Bye, Marty. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>